My name's Dr. Matt Sperrin, a lecturer in health data science at the Healthy Research Centre at the University of Manchester. On behalf of my co-authors, I'd like to introduce our paper, Collider Bias is only a partial explanation for the obesity paradox, recently published in Epidemiology. The obesity paradox refers to the finding that in certain populations, for example, patients with type 2 diabetes, overweight and obese patients live longer than their normal weight counterparts. As this is the opposite of what would be expected, considerable effort in the epidemiology literature has focused on finding statistical explanations for why the associations observed in these studies may differ from the underlying causality. One particularly popular explanation is collider bias. And this is a kind of selection bias in which the risk factors such as obesity also, also drive selection into the population of interest. So obesity being a risk factor for diabetes. And when other risk factors are in play, um, also leading to diabetes and potentially to death, this can distort the associations observed between all these risk factors and ultimately between obesity and death itself. To study this in more detail, in our paper, we have used counterfactual causal analysis um, under a range of assumptions to look at the difference between the associations and the true underlying causation that we would observe. And what we found is that in fact uh, the, the level of bias we see under a, quite a wide range of assumptions is actually fairly small and certainly too small to explain the kind of associations that are seen in epidemiological studies. The limitations of our work are, are around the, uh, the way that we've set up our models. So we've restricted ourselves to binary variables and imposed some a priori assumptions, for example, on the relationships between risk factors. Whereas in practice, there may be quite complicated relationships between risk factors and, of course, non-binary variables of interest, such as times to event. The importance of this work is that uh, it's putting the brakes on collider bias as an explanation for the obesity paradox. We found that uh, collider bias only has a very small part to play, um, and, and that's in contrast with a lot of the literature that has seen collider bias as, uh, as being a very full and complete explanation of the paradox. So we're reopening the debate, um, and it's, it's now time to, uh, to revisit some of the other possible statistical explanations for the paradox, such as confounding, measurement error, and heterogeneity in populations, for example, different kinds of type 2 diabetes and, uh, and unmeasured heterogeneity within the populations we see.